Hello, my lovelies. It's time for Monday Mutterings. Today's topic, The Walking Dead. Um, I'm catching up on The Walking Dead, which we will talk about in a moment. Um, however, what do we think about this? How do we feel about this hair? I'm experimenting. Experimenting. Um, it's got little birds and a pumpkin and stuff, but like the Brady business. Um, it seems vaguely period. I just don't know what period. Somebody out there will, though, because you guys are really good at that. Um, that's what it looks like. I'll go back. Yes. 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 Um, and now you can see that the back of my head is completely flat, like I told you it was. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, let me know. Let me know if you like this. If if you do, we will do a tutorial on this. It seems really regal. And I imagine um for my girls that are doing like period costumes for either reenacting or LARPing or Halloween, like maybe this will work. If it is reminiscent of a certain period, you'll have to let me know. I'm like I said, uh I know what you guys tell me. So <laughs> Yeah, so let me know if we like this. It is, it's a little heavy. Um, I started with a really high pony, as you can probably tell, but it's, you know, instant facelift, which is always nice. Um, it's not too uncomfortable. I probably wouldn't wear it for eight hours, but I think we could probably get by with four. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And um, tomorrow we're going to try... These things, Jamberry. Um, you guys know my nail polish peels off in full sheets. My nails have been wrecked. Um, they're really, really short um, right now because I have one that just keeps ripping and I can't keep polish on it because the polish keeps peeling off. So uh, I decided to give these Jamberry nail wraps a try. They're supposed to stay on for a really long time. We'll see. I'll let you know. But I think tomorrow we're going to do these um, flowers. They seem like they'll be more forgiving. Hopefully, can you see them? Will it focus? Yeah, I think. I'm going to try those. Um, I also picked up for uh, further along in the month. They're like a little graveyard. Spooky tree. Thing. Focus. Cute, right? Yeah, so we'll try those. We'll try those at uh, further on in the month if these work out. Um, yeah, we're gonna try those tomorrow on our toss up Tuesday. Torn tries jamberries. Okay, so now that those are out of the way, um, let's talk about The Walking Dead. I know some of you guys do not watch The Walking Dead, and that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna just I'm. Just, this is spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you're planning on watching The Walking Dead, uh, don't watch the rest of this video. And I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you already have, I mean, how spoilery is it? This is, we're going all the way back to season two when I rage quit because I hate Lori. Uh, this might be really fun for you because I have just watched from season two, episode six, all the way up to, I think I am season five, episode six right now. In the past couple of days, I've watched it all. It's been raining here. It's been raining here for weeks, but it's been nonstop raining for about five days and it sucks. My dogs are agitated because they, you know, they want to go outside and play, but it's raining. So they don't want to go outside and play, but they want to go outside and play. Dudes. At the end of this, at the end of this, um, there's going to be a couple outtakes with the babies because this has been a chore. This is the fourth time I'm filming this. So there will be outtakes. I'll just include those for giggles. Okay. Any hoodles. It's been crappy. So I've been watching zombie apocalypse to make up for it. Um, yes. So like I said, I rage quit in season two because I hate Lori. I still hate Lori. She did not redeem herself at all, even remotely. Um, she's terrible. She was a terrible person. She's a terrible mother. She was a terrible wife. 
do not like her. Terrible character. Just wretched. Um, yes, uh, they're interestingly, most of the people on the show, I like the tertiary carrier, uh, characters. Like, I don't really like Rick. Um, Carl's gotten a lot better. Uh, at least I understand. I mean, Carl's a kid and he's a menace. God, that boy never listens. But do you blame him? Look at his parents. They're wretched. So it's amazing. Carl's not dead. I actually credit uh, Carl's long livedness with Shane. <sighs> I changed my mind about Shane. Um, at first, I'm like, he's just a big old jerk. Well, Shane is a big old jerk. He always was. He was always going to be. That's just his personality. Bit of a douche lord. However, always right. Shane was always right. Always. His approach was wrong. Just screaming at people and being crazy doesn't make them do what you want, Shane. Even though you are making more sense than anybody, they can't hear it because they would not listen to sense. Um, I felt bad for Shane. Every time Shane would seem to normalize, maintain, reach his end spot and be like, okay, fine. Lori would come back in there. I don't love you, Shane. I never loved you. But Shane, what we had was real. No, shut up. It's Lori's fault that Shane is dead. It's Lori's fault. Hers. Because she would not leave him alone. She would not stop messing with his head. And why? Because he was better with Carl than Rick was. He was a better dad to Carl than Rick was. And, oh, I love Rick. Me, 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 me. But then she'd see Shane with Carl, and then all of a sudden, she's like, oh, but Shane, mm. that's why, that's why Shane's dead. He went crazy because of Lori. She's a killer. Anywho, that's all the way back in season two. Many things happened after that. Um, a couple of the things that make me, uh, Rick, I'm still like this with. Sometimes I agree with Rick. Mostly, I do not agree with Rick because he just keeps making stupid decisions. Um... Even if he does things for the right reasons, he always goes about it in the wrong way. He's why, why everybody wants him to be their leader. I do not know. He is inept. He is a terrible leader. Um, love the introduction of Michonne. It was so nice to get a cool chick uh, since I lost Andrea. Um, I really liked Andrea, but uh, I was not as, uh, as upset when she went because I had washed my hands of her because she was making stupid decisions. Um, being stupid gets you killed. Right, Michonne? So, yeah. So I was glad we got Michonne so that Andrea, to replace, I guess, Andrea. I, I liked Andrea, actually, but she was being dumb. Michonne is never dumb. Um, still yet, she's not dumb. So, <laughs> thank God there's a woman on this show who's not. An, actually, no. The women fare better than the men. Michonne is awesome. So is Carol. I have liked Carol since season one when nobody liked her. I liked her um, because she rings true to me. She seems very realistic. A lot of these people act very realistic, but she she's a tough cookie and she really can see straight to the character of a person pretty quick, which is nice. Um, she also won't just lay down and die, which is good. Uh, she's really tough. And she's very sensible and practical. I mean, yes, she cares about people, but she will be utterly ruthless um, in what she has to do. And it does not bother her, her conscience. And I think that's okay. Um, I like Carol quite a bit. I like her relationship with Daryl because he was very prickly and early on. Um, and she saw right through that and never let it bother her, which I appreciate. So, um, I still root for Carol. I still root for Daryl. Um, I root for Michonne. And I root for Glenn. I love my little Korean. Um, I've always liked Glenn, though. And uh, I'm glad he has Maggie. She seems like a pretty tough cookie. So that's good. Um, anybody newer after that, though, like, I still want to kind of stick with my, with my core group, I guess. Um, I'm glad Glenn's still alive. I'm pretty sure he's going to die soon because that's what they do. Um, I like Eugene, weirdly. I don't know why. Maybe it's the mullet. Maybe it's his awkwardness. 
I don't know. Um, a fine Eugene to me, humorous to me, and I I cannot believe for a second that anybody thought he was a scientist. Not that scientists can't be goofy. Scientists can totally be goofy, but just the way he is, mm, they're suspect of everybody, suspicious of everybody. But Eugene, oh yeah, this guy can totally save the world. Mm-hmm. This guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, whatever. Any hoodles? Uh, yeah. So I am almost finished with the current season of The Walking Dead. And uh, I should be all caught up so I can watch it real time. Real time. DVR and watch it right after. Um, yeah, so that, that should be fun. Um, thus far, I'm... I'm glad that I stuck it out, um, or came back to it, I guess, uh, made it through the rest of season two, which was, ooh, it, it, it was a little patchy for me. Um, once I got to the prison, I thought it was cool. Um, I'm sad that that went. Um, a lot of people had remarked to me that they really hated the sickness in the prison storyline, but I actually kind of liked that because that seemed very real to me. Like what would happen? Okay. You've kind of figured out how to keep yourself safe from zombies. Um, you know, you can defend yourself from other people because people are the worst. Um, but what do you do about a sickness that is going spreading through your camp like gangbusters? I mean, that is rough. And I was glad that they got it figured out before the governor showed back up again. I didn't need to see him come back. I didn't need to see his partial redemption um, and then complete decimation. Uh, I wish Michonne would have just hunted him down and killed him. Would have been fine with me. I didn't need him to come back. Um, I mean, I guess they wanted to get him out of that prison. So I, I got that. I knew something had to happen, but I don't know. I never really cared for that character very much. So... I guess because they were trying to make him like a gray area or the anti Rick, but he and Rick were just pretty much the same. So I didn't see why we needed two Ricks. One slightly more crazy than the other. Um, stuff and things. Uh, any hoodles? Uh, uh, have I cried over any of the deaths? No. Maybe Herschel. I might have teared up, but that was mostly because of Maggie's response. Um, and of course the infamous, look at the flowers, Lizzie. That was a rough episode. You guys, that was a rough episode. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen and it still got me. Um, I have to say, I do like it when they sort of do, uh, I love it when the group is together. But I do like it when the stories are separate. So having the group split up and have to come back together. I weirdly actually really liked that season because you got to see different dynamics. And I feel like the actors themselves got a little more screen time, um, which was nice. Um, so, yay. Um, I did. I was really upset when Tyrese. I've seen that far where Tyrese doesn't make it. What the hell, show? Why are all the black men? You can only have one at a time? I don't understand. Like, we have T-Dog. T-Dog makes it all the way to season three. Yay, T-Dog. And then they introduce a few inmates that are stuck, so there's going to be a new dude, so T-Dog has to die. And then we get uh, Tyrese. And it's like, oh, Tyrese is here, so you got to die. So what? We're going to go with, I'm supposing, um, I can't remember the character's name, dude in Rick's hometown that has gone clear crazy. Uh, so I guess he's going to be added to the cast, so we had to kill Tyrese. Stop killing all the black men. Stop killing all the brothers. You can have more than one at the same time, for God's sakes. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know if, if they are just doing it now to spite us. Uh, it's just, I don't know, because 
I mean, well, we did have Tyrese and Bob for a while, but then Bob had to go because you can't have two brothers. You can't. You can't have two black men at the same time. And you need to fix that show, really. You need to fix that. This is wrong. All right. I've spent 15 minutes talking and I try to keep these short. So I'm going to hush. Uh, please do let me know about the hair. Yes. Let me know about the hair. Yes. No. Eh, whatever. Or even just let me know if it is a certain period. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can stay tuned for some puppy bloopers if you are so inclined. Alrighty, my lovelies. I will see you tomorrow. Till next time. Have a great day. Bye. Who's crying? Hello, Cassio. Hello. There's, there's apparently crying happening. What? I'll bet it's another squirrel on the porch. Um, we've been having issues with porch squirrels lately. You guys quit. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, puppies. Puppies. Tamara, what are you doing? Mommy doesn't want you on her lap. <laughs> but I know, I know, baby. I know. Okay. 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 Say hello. Say hello. There will be outtakes at the end. Oh, I can't find our face now, baby girl. There we go. There will be outtakes at the end of Spazzy Dogs. What's wrong with you? Too much rain. It has been doing nothing but rain here lately. There we go. Just nothing. Nothing but rain. So agitating. <laughs>